Hi, I'm Beth. Welcome to Read Remark. Today we are going to be reviewing The River at Night. Thanks for joining. Today we are going to review The River at Night by Erika Ferencheck. I really hope I said her name right. The basic premise of The River at Night is that four longtime lady friends not in the romantic sense, but in the actual friend sense, go on a whitewater rafting weekend. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> this seems to be how all of these disaster movies or disaster stories start. They're going on this highly dangerous adventure weekend. Totally safe, right? No. The River at Night could and has been compared to a whole lot of other books and movies. So, da -da 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 you can practically hear the banjo music playing as they go into the backwoods. Or like the movie The Descent, which has longtime adventuring lady friends go down into a cave and then get chased by monsters. There's all sorts of evil that lurks. And it's really fun to kind of go on the adventure in the book. Now, of course, it does get a little too, um, what's the word? I don't want to say cliche. Stereotypical? Eh. I don't know. It seems to characterize the hillbillies as extremely hillbillyish, and it takes some of the character traits of the women um, a little too strongly and doesn't let them be as multi-dimensional as maybe they could be. Uh, she does do a good job of fleshing out the different characters pretty well, but they all seem to be kind of one-note people, such as the friend who's the A type who's always on the go and always in charge, or the other friend who's always angry and always confrontational, or the other friend who's this gentle shrinking violet that everyone needs to protect. And then there's the main character, Winnie herself, who has gone through just a terrible, terrible time. She's gone through divorce. Um, her brother has died. She's nearing 40 and her job has just been cut back to only part time. She's already gone through her own tragedies in life, and then she has to go through this even bigger tragedy. I mentioned this in my written review, which I'll link to in the description below, but it reminded me of Stephen King's book on writing, which I read a really long time ago, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna paraphrase this badly and probably get it wrong, but he suggested that a good way to start a book would be to imagine someone who's already been through hell something bad happened to them, turned their worlds upside down, and they got through, and they're just barely kind of making their way through the world. And then that's where the story begins. So that's kind of where we see Winnie. She's already gone through her tragedy. Her world's already been turned upside down. She's already um, just kind of clawing to try and find her way back to a normal life. Should be smooth sailing from here on out, right? Wrong. Instead, she gets to face an even bigger challenge on the raving, roaring rapids. So yes, it does fall prey to a few stereotypes. Yes, it does seem really evocative of a lot of different uh, sort of adventure, disaster films or books that you may have read already, but it still stands on its own two feet. Or its own two oars. Ayo! <laughs> it's always fun to read an adventure book, for sure and this one does not disappoint. All right, let me know your own thoughts of The River at Night by Erica Ferencheck, or however you say her name. Be sure and like the video, subscribe, come back and watch some more. I really appreciate you stopping by. I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.